In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to design a creative PowerPoint table, not this PowerPoint. Generally, we create this PowerPoint table in our presentations, where in this one, I have got the action items, person responsible, urgency, importance, and uh, status. So this is this table uh, generally is very boring and uh, it's not creating an impact on the audience. Instead of doing this, why can't we do something like this? You see here. I have got the same five columns action items you can enter the task here the person responsible where you can add the image or the pick of the person responsible for the job the urgency level if you can see the the black dots uh, which is uh, all black dots here that means the urgency level is very high again we have got something called importance in the importance the red is uh, high importance and the blue is low importance and whereas the status, I have just given the, the door, which is open and close. And here I also have given the description of each, the importance and the status. So without wasting much time, let's start with the tutorial. The first step is to uh, create the table. So make a new slide, go to insert tab, table, select five rows and five columns. All right. So I'm just making it somewhat according to the size I need. Okay, I'm going to select the whole table and I will say here, first of all, the borders as no border. And then I'm going to select the pen color, which is uh, let me take black and then borders i'm going to select inside horizontal border okay and the other one i'm just going to make it as no fill so you can see here i've got the table but only with the the horizontal lines only and i have removed all the borders and the other stuff okay uh, the table is ready now i'm going to select the shapes and the rectangle I'm going to design the rectangle maybe till this part okay just below the the above the the table and I'll make it as no outline and if you want to change different colors it's up to you which color you like to have it right and then I'm going to insert the the labels so the first label is action item just bring it here change the font according to your choice in my case i am using the oswald and white color all right so this is my action item i'm just going to add the other five columns all right this is the second this is the third this is the fourth and this is the fifth and for this one i'm just going to make it a center aligned as well as align text in the middle okay so you can just adjust now this is the person responsible you can just adjust and then we have got urgency we have got the importance and the last one is the status all right so some mistake happened uh, it has just all right so let's see here how it is action item i'll just move this side okay just select all the text and then you can align it you can just say it a middle all right the same thing i'm just going to select this one and putting it down and just going to increase the size 
okay all right now it's time to add the i'll just say that action item is just change the font color to something blue and i'll just say enter your task one so likewise you can just copy and paste your tasks here okay and then you can add the, the pictures here so i have got some pictures i'm just going to copy it here and i'm just going to paste it here so all right let me make this as bold as well and post world okay and this urgency like urgency i have just given some dots whether it's uh, if it is one dot blue black dot means that is a low urgency and if it is uh, all black dots means it's high urgency so i'm just going to create some dots now so go to insert shapes and select a uh, oval shape okay and maybe it's 0.3 height and width shape outline no outline and i'm giving the black color here all right so you can just place it here and press ctrl d for example this is not only one point is urgent here then for this one i'm just going to reduce the size to 0.2 inches and giving some different color for example i'll just say gray all right so i'm going to use four different dots select this one align sorry make it align and middle all right press ctrl d and bring it down here as well So for example, this is urgent. I'm just going to select this one and bring it here as well. So you just you need to do some sort of uh, alignments. So example, I'm selecting this one and align left. So you can spend some time and you have to spend some time on the alignment issues. And again, in the importance, I'm going to select a, a rounded rectangle. I will say, maybe this is the size and this one so assume that this is not important i'm just giving a blue color and if it is a high importance i'm going to give a red color likewise i have just got the open and closed doors which i have downloaded from the the noun project you can just place this here all right I'm just going to bring it down and then I will add the, the headers and we have to complete the, the rest of the columns as well. So I have filled all the columns uh, now. All right. So if you want, just uh, do some more alignments. Okay. And the next one is I'm just going to insert the header which is i'll just say action list or action items okay and font increase the size all right now I'm going to add one more uh, rectangle, which is exactly from this point to this point. I'll make it as no outline and I will fill the color with say somewhat light gray and send it to back. All right. And here for this one, you can add some background images kind of like I'm going to select the whole 
slide with a rectangle i'll make it no outline right mouse click go to format shape and say picture fill if you have any picture for example i have got this picture i have selected i will just reduce the the transparency level and i will just say send to back all right and this one i'll make it white font and then i'm just going to add this part here so we can just explain what this color is all about okay this should be actually orange all right and i'm going to select this as well here so we just need an explanation a kind of a legend here at the below at the bottom and just explain that one so once you have done all this part so your something uh, a sheet will a table will look like this all right so uh, that's it from me friends hope you like this video and don't forget to subscribe my channel see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.